Hello YouTube, my name is Chris, my screen name on YouTube is The Temple Guardian, and um, as most of you probably already know, the cost of health care in this country is out of control. Two years ago in 2009, it was killing us. I had insurance through my company, company insurance policy, and the insurance premiums that year were about $500 a month. If you do the math, that comes out to $6,000 a year. On top of the premiums, we had a $5,000 deductible. In 2008, my son was born, and under that health insurance policy, we spent over $11,000 on health care costs. My whole family's healthy, and um, it was killing us. That was a really that was a pretty big percent of my total gross income. Uh, we're a single owner family. We've got a wife, and she stays at home with our two children. Now we've got number three on the way. And um, in 2010, January of 2010, we joined an organization called Samaritan Ministries. It's a very worthy ministry. It's had quite an impact on our family. And I would like to throw up a video to share some information with you about it uh, because it's been such a blessing to us. Now, the way Samaritan Ministries works, it's a Christian MediShare that operates as an alternative to, tra uh, alternative to traditional health insurance. Um, there are about 15,000 families in the organization. It's a Christian group, and we all share the cost of health care. Uh, what I mean by that, as an, uh, for example, I've got in front of me my monthly newsletter that we get from Samaritan Ministries. And I'm not going to read the names, but basically I've got the contact information for a family here from Illinois. It looks like they had a motor vehicle accident and they've got some health care cost. Um, so our share is $320. Now we pay the same thing every month, $320, which if you do the math and you compare that to the insurance premiums we were paying, right off the bat, you know, the premiums came down from six grand a year to thirty-eight forty a year. But a major difference, and this really means a lot to us, is instead of that money going to a health insurance company, we personally write a check to a family that has a need. And it's pretty rewarding. Um, the way it works, the way it comes full circle, in 2010, my daughter was born. And at that time, we were off of the health insurance. We got rid of our traditional health insurance, signed up for this program. And my wife used a midwife, and we were reimbursed 100% for the cost of her delivery. All the health care costs associated with my daughter being born were returned to us. No $5,000 deductible. We just received checks from other families, like we're going to send to this family, and they reimbursed us uh, 100%. Now, since there's no deductible, um, there are some guidelines about what health care costs are covered and what health care costs are not covered. And off the bat, the key number, I think it is $300. The big needs are covered, the smaller needs are not covered. So if we go to the doctor and we have a hundred dollar bill or a two hundred dollar bill, we just pay the bill. If we have a larger need though, a medical bill in excess of three hundred dollars, we fill out a form, we provide the information and we send it to Samaritan Ministries. They've got a small board that handles their administrative needs and our information goes into the newsletters and so other families will receive our information. Hey, Chris and Jenny had a baby, so over the course of time, uh, we received the checks and it trickled in. And it's worked beautifully. Um, our health care costs have come way down. The bigger needs have been covered uh, 100%. We haven't had a problem, and it's much more rewarding and fulfilling every month to sit down and write a check to a family in need as opposed to seeing the money getting sucked out of my paycheck to go to a health insurance company. Um, when I try to explain this to people, I always have some objections. They say, hey, you know, that could never work. What if the total number of shares exceeds the total number of needs? And since we've been involved in the organization, I don't think that's been an issue. Um, on paper, we've read about it, the way that would be dealt with is, say, if, you know, the needs exceed the total shares, and the total shares only provide 80% of the total needs, then everybody would be prorated instead of being reimbursed 100%, you may be reimbursed 
80%. Another thing to keep in mind <clears throat> is when dealing with the health care providers now, we go in as uninsured. We deal with them, you know, we're self-paid. So this is not insurance. It doesn't operate. It's, it's sort of, it's an alternative to insurance, but as far as health care providers are going, we're uninsured. So what we found is when we go into the hospital, and uh, for instance, my wife had a migraine, and we had to go to the hospital uh, one night last year, and the bill was about $800. Well, we contacted the hospital the next week. Uh, we got a bill in the mail, 800 bucks, and we called them up and said, hey, we're uninsured, but we want to pay our bills, we want to be good customers, and so would you offer us a discount? And they did. We were surprised to find that they offered us uh, quite a good discount. And so we paid the bill immediately out of savings. And after we did that, we submitted the paperwork to Samaritan. And over the course of the next several weeks, we were reimbursed 100%. And so we could put the money back in savings. In a situation where um, there is a shortage, I, I believe that they will take that into consideration. And so in, in that type of situation, you still may be reimbursed 100%. Um, there are a couple of things to consider, uh, and I think these are wonderful things. As a Christian organization, all the families in the organization covenant together to live uh, you know, a moral life. And by doing that, they lower the cost of health care. Um, as a Christian organization, it's not going to cover certain health care costs. Uh, some, in, uh, some examples of that would be substance abuse, or abortion, and so by not covering those types of medical needs, it keeps the health care cost down for all the members in covenant. And that policy also encourages the members to live a moral life, which is great. I think it's a really good system. Um, I'm trying to think of other objections that I run into. Hmm. Okay, so I was looking back over my notes and realized that I failed to mention a couple of things. Number one, another objection I get often is, how does this program deal with super high cost health care needs, you know, in excess of a couple of hundred thousand dollars, say you have cancer or some really major need where you're in the hospital for an extended stay. And the answer is, you know, really to go into all of that would, it, would be beyond the, the purposes of this video, but there is a program for that. It's, a, it's, an, additional, um, it's, it's an additional separate program, like an add-on program, and we do participate in that. If I remember correctly, it's about an extra 300 bucks a year, and there's information about that uh, you can study up on, but it's an optional uh, additional program for high cost health care. Um, another consideration that uh, you should look at closely is how pre-existing conditions are dealt with. Uh, for us, we didn't have any. We're a young, healthy family, and so it's a wonderful program. But if you do consider this program, that's something you should take a close look at. I don't know what all the specifics are on that, but it's, it's something you would want to study closely. If you consider learning more about the program, I would tell you, go to their website, SamaritanMinistries.org and take a look at their promotional video. Kind of look around on the website and read the Frequently Asked Questions page. Uh, if you're still interested after that, I'd say give them a call and talk to somebody. We spent, we called several times, ask questions. We asked, we had a lot of questions. And so write them down. You know, talk about these questions together as a family and uh, write them down and call them as many times as you need to. Um, you know, after that, I'd say read the fine print. They'll probably send you a packet and really go through it and read the fine print. Pray about it. And um, I would say ignore uh, your skeptical friends and family. We, we dealt with that. And, um, you know, again, I, I think I've said it a couple of times. It's been one of the best decisions we've ever made. So, but be very careful, uh, you know. I'd say this is a situation that should be made with lots of prayer, lots of consideration, and uh, you know, just be very thorough in, in reading the guidelines and, and studying how the program actually operates. But uh, if you go through all those steps and uh, it looks like 
it's a program that would, would be a blessing to your family as it has been to our family, uh, I encourage you to do it. Uh, we've never looked back. And if you do get in touch with Samaritan Ministries, um, I would really appreciate it if you'd mention this video and just let them know how you heard about it. But, um, you know, the bottom line is health care is so messed up in this country, and I don't think it's going to get any better. But with a program like this, the ability to kind of opt out of the uh, mainstream traditional health care system has been wonderful. And uh, so I encourage you to, to check it out and um, maybe even check out other similar ministries. Thank you for watching my video.